Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Intrigues deepens as APC NEC meets tomorrow, still damning Adams Oshomole's court case. Hello, my people. We've been bringing you up to date and up to speed with all that has been going on in APC. Adams Oshomole allies have sued APC that they have no right to go on and carry carry out some you know uh, major changes in the party some of which like elongation of the current uh, critical committee administration we brought you up to speed also that the current governor of Yobe state who is the leader of the critical committee has however been lobbying governors under the platform of apc so that they can vote for him to stay longer in his reign as the apc you know apc uh, uh chair you know uh critical committee uh for a while so that they can they can satisfy what they need to do put their people in place anyway my people you know why still damning on shomoles um shomoles court case the meeting is for tomorrow let's get on and get all the details Intrigues deepens as APC NEC meets damning Oshomole's court case. The power struggle within the All Progressive Congress APC persists, giving rise to massive intrigues as the Party National Executive Committee NEC of the party meets tomorrow over the tenor of the National Critical Convention Planning Committee, led by the Yobe State Governor Malim Bruni. The Critical Committee tenor would expire this month, having been set up in June after the Adams Oshomole led administration was dissolved by the same NEC. But the committee faced to kick start the process of the national convention and rather proceed to register members of the party before holding the convention. Tomorrow's meeting this day has gathered will deliberate on the extension of the tenure of the critical committee, the leadership register and the validation exercise and the zoning of various party officers at the party national convention and level. A party source informed this day, yesterday, that the president, Muhammad Buhari, has given support to the membership register and the validation exercise process by the Ketiko Committee, which was an indication that the tenor and the committee will be extended. The source also does not want his name to be printed, has also said that the party cannot allow the functions without the, the party to function without leadership. The source declares that the Oshomole's case, however, is like a serious contention in the party and they are looking out for a way to make it go smoothly without raising eyebrow. There are ways that the tenor can be extended because you, you can't allow a vacuum in the process. It's either Oshomole comes back in, which is what he's crying out for now, or the, uh, this, the tenor is extended. So there are two possible reasons with regards to that. For the president to... to does the membership registration and validation of ex exercise if you follow the so-called body language that already tells you that they are damning adams oshomole's apc court case against apc they are rather wanting the elongation of the critical committee however the inability of the critical committee to organize the convention within the six months is part of the mandate as part of the mandate given to them starts creating ripple effects within the party. I had also renewed hostility and power struggles within the loops in the party right now. As the bat battle for the control of the soul of the party continues, a former national vice chairman, South South, Hilad Ete, has continued to instill the court case and said it must continue. Hilad Ete has approached the Federal High Court in Abuja and asked the notification of the June 25th NEC meeting, which dissolves the Adams Oshomole NWC. Also, a group 
consigned members of APC has raised the alarm over alleged plan by the Ketiko Committee to dissolve the party structure according to the states before expiration of the Ateno in 2022, which they intend to extend it to. The group in a statement said the weekend alleged that a cabal of four governors have adopted governors in their states and their area and region to hijack the party adding that the planned dissolution of the party structure will take place and the registration and validation exercise we embark the, the party wants to embark on the spokesman of the group mr abdullahi daman in a statement said we have we are aware of the plans to postpone our convention and do a fresh registration the question we are asking are what happens to the party register has the party been operating without one how did we come about the 16 million members we told nigerians in 2019 is the registration not another plan to remove people from those controlling the power and don't like it we know the agenda of the nec meeting is to extend the tenor of the critical committee we are also aware of the meeting in abuja will be held in the kebi state governor's location in abuja so there is a plan by apc themselves they are you know a house divided against itself cannot stand and so apc as a party is grossly divided they are the ones who are planning and you know making sure that um, they have their way however they cannot get very far because anyone and any people or anyone who intends to do what is not right they can only try to see as if they are succeeding for a while it will not go too far it is important that we all know that apc is not a party to reckon with that is why it's rather very sad that you know like the 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 by elections that were done recently INEC announced that apc won or true you know that this is all part of the tr strategy to make other uh, party you know make make bring a threat and make other party feel like you know they, they 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 are not competent or they cannot do what they need to do it is important that we all right now speak up and let our voices be heard what is going on right now in this country is apc as a party are strategically positioning themselves are strategically making sure that they have their way apc as a party are strategizing and making sure that they they stay in power beyond 2023 but that determination is between you and i is for us to come out and vote and do not allow our right to be truncated and that's why they are very strategic in picking who the next INEC chairman becomes the next INEC chairman is somebody who, you know, they want to pick strategically to work for them. But if we allow that, that will stand. If we don't allow it, it will not stand. So you and I need to stand by our vote and make sure that our voices are heard. The government of today are rather ready to oppress and make sure that we are suppressed, but we will not allow it. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.